I'm the former uh, Polisario Front representative to the European to Europe and the European Union. Just want to thank you, uh, Andreas, for organizing, and of course through you, the intergroup for organizing this event. It's all it's always very important to listen to Sultana Hayya because it's really the uh, the, the person that uh, that. Uh, that illustrates the, the, the crisis of human rights and the injustice committed against the people of Western Sahara. But I want to emphasize uh, the fact that uh, for the intergroup uh, in, in general, those present here, but the, those are not here, that this is uh, a very important momentum now inside the European Parliament to work really for, the, for Western Sahara, for the cause of Western Sahara, as uh, after what has been revealed the last uh, two months on, on, on Morocco Gate and the corruption cases that have been taking place here. Since day one, around the 10th or the 11th of December, we knew that Qatar Gate was just uh, the vitrine to cover and to cover what was behind that, which was a deeply and well-structured uh, 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 Moroccan machine that has been put, pla put in place around not only the European Parliament, but also the European institution, but also in the individual states across, across Europe, Europe uh, to try to influence the position of the European countries, the European Parliament and the uh, Parliament, uh, national Parliament and the European Parliament on Western Sahara. But now that the truth is coming gradually to be known for everybody, we have also to know that the guiding uh, uh, principle for the whole machinery was only on Western Sahara. And, uh, and we've been really, um, it, was, it wasn't easy for anybody to understand in the past why the issue of Western Sahara, a very clear case on international legality, very clear case on human rights violations, very clear case with even the European laws after the adoption of the European Court of Justice decisions, it has been all the time barred, really, uh, prevented from getting its place within the European uh, within European institutions. And now we have the explanation. It was because of the fact that Morocco was present here to lobby, but also to corrupt and to and to and to put in place this machinery. So now is a very good momentum to try to recover whatever time is lost uh, in the past and try really to work on the issue of Western Sahara as it, it, it deserves it. We have the upcoming, the, uh, the upcoming case of the European Court of Justice that will be coming by the end of this, uh, of this year. We will be having the public audience maybe around summer on the, on the case. We will be having even some, some, um, some moments where the, the, where the fisheries, the agreement of the fisheries Will be will be ending around July, and then we don't know what the Commission is going to be doing, and uh, and of course we will be having all the time the issue of human rights that is really uh, uh, something that should be uh, should be it's really a scandalous fact going on in the occupied territories, and nobody is allowed to have access to the territory. Even some of the European MPs have been expelled from the airport, and we didn't see really an echo for this. That, European, that, that representatives of the European citizens have been expelled from the occupied territories and no media, no political echo for this going on in the, in the, within the European, within the European institution, institution. So this is a high moment, a good momentum for the intergroup to keep on with its program and try to accompany the people, especially the, the people of Western Sahara, especially in this very... Uh, critical and very decisive uh, uh, moment where the Sahrawis are um, facing uh, or undertaking their struggle now, basically in the in, in the two axes of the of the of the struggle, which is the armed one, the uh, diplomatic uh, uh, struggle, the human rights struggle, but also the consolidation of the Sahrawi institutions in the refugee camps and in the liberated area. And once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.